These are the three transitions. Let's start with this one. Arrange your footage. Something like this. Move your player to the point where you want to start the transition. Select your first footage and pick the pen tool and draw a mask around the eye. Open the mask properties. Change the mask type to subtract. Increase the feather. Right click on the mask property. Click track mask to track. Play forward in the track panel. And the tracking is finished. Create a keyframe on the mask expansion property at the end of the clip. Move your playhead to the point where you want to start the transition. And then reduce the mask expansion value until the black background is no longer visible. Play with the graph if you want. And now create a null object. Make every layer a 3D layer. Create a camera, parent the camera to the null object. Open the position control in the null object. Create a keyframe where you want to start the camera movement. Turn off the visibility of the second footage for now. And move the playhead to the end of the footage and animate the camera using a null object through the eye. He sees the keyframes. Open the graph editor and make the graph something similar to this. Turn on the visibility of the second footage and parent to the null object while holding the shift key. And then unparent it. Enable motion blur. And here we got this. Arrange your footage like this. Create a solid layer, name it Fractal Map. Add Fractal Noise Effect and change Noise Type to Block. Increase the contrast. Open the Transform and check the Uniform Scaling. Increase the Width and decrease the Height. And you will get something like this. Click on the Keyframe Clock Switch while holding Alt and write an expression called Time Asterisk 500 or time star 500 whatever move this layer below your footage layer because we are not going to see this layer instead we use this as a reference map create an adjustment layer add displacement map effect you can already see some difference let me increase the values look how it's manipulating the footage so now we are going to link the distortion to the map we created over the displacement map layer section there is an option Click on that. Now we can see the layer we created. Link it by clicking on it. Nothing is changed because we didn't set it to effects. So change it to effects. Now you can see it's distorting according to the map layer. Increase the values both vertical and horizontal. To get rid of the black edges, enable wrap pixel around. And duplicate effect for more distortion. Create a keyframe in the middle of the clips to create the transition. Start and end value should be zero. You see the keyframe, open the graph editor and make the graph something similar like this. To make it more interesting, create an adjustment layer. Add chromatic aberration effect. Pick the values, animate the opacity according to the transition and here we got this. This is the easiest one. As usual, arrange your clips like this. Create a null object. Cut the null object for each clip. Parent the footage to the null. Select the pan behind tool. Enable snapping for the precise alignment. Move the anchor point to the bottom right corner of the clip. Open rotation control. Create a keyframe at the beginning of the transition. Move the playhead to the end of the clip. Change the rotation value to 7 or 8. We seize the keyframes. Make the graph similar to this. And then make the second footage animation as a follow up to the first footage animation. Enable motion work, then you are done. 